What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here with Hat Mike, otherwise known as Nick, and we're doing another stipulation draft. Uh, today, it's by Scott Leonard, and it's you were locked into your first... It's, it's basically an Uno draft, which is what Nick just which, which Nick just uh, com commented on, and that makes a lot of sense. Uh, you are locked into your first color until there are no cards in that color. So, if you per if you pack one, pick one, Ancestral Recall, your next pick has to be blue, assuming there are blue cards. Um, until there are no cards in that color, at that point, you can select a new card, and then that locks you into that next color. So, if there's no more blue and I select a black card, I'm now black. Uh, you can take an on-color, multicolor card... Um, which then changes your color to a color of the multicolor card you were not locked into. <laughs> what is going on here? So how you doing? I'm over sorry here? to interrupt your, uh, okay. your wife. <laughs> so, like, if I take, if I'm blue and then I take a Scarab God, then I'm all of a sudden now I'm black. If a colorless card produces mana, it doesn't change your color. So, if I take a Simic Signet, it doesn't have any effect. However, if we take a, col a colorless card like an artifact that doesn't produce mana, that's just an artifact, then we're locked into colorless. Um, you can take power against the lock. However, <laughs> the power. Uh, changes your color identity to whatever the power is. So if we take a Mox Emerald, we're green. If we take an Ancestral Recall, we're... You can just put it on Vibrate, right? You don't have to, like, put it on the floor. It's all the way over there now. It's okay. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go take care of that. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's good. It's good. Uh, you can take power against the lock instead of the law. You can break the lock two times at will. Assemble the deck in any way that pleases you most. Okay. So that is... I don't know where he's going. All right, well, we're Bye. just... Okay, that was good. I was like, I was worried I had to wait for too long. Can't wait to take Koth of the Hammer. Can I get a progressively larger hat for every time Hacky Sack Mike is on stream? <laughs> what if the multicolor card is three colors? Then I get to look at the next pack and determine which color we want to go into. Ancestral Recall. Dang it. Uh... Um, what's, uh, what's the situation with lands? Like, what happens if we take a land? Uh, lands have no... It has no effect. Okay. Why are you coming up here and being like, new Photoshop tutorials? Don't I don't know how to use Photoshop. I'm, I'm literally... I think we just want to be blue. I really do want to be blue all the time. You just want to take blue cards? I kind of do. All right. So, if we want to take blue cards, our primary choice is Inkwell Leviathan. Really? No. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? This pack is not very good. If I had conf right, maybe it's Elspeth actually. I I do very much like Elspeth. Um, I, I, I do, do very much like Elspeth. I huh? also like Sylvan Library. That's a good card. I do like Sylvan Library. It's also great. Oh, uh, how do lands work? You can always just take magic. lands. Lands don't land. If you take a land, then you're still just locked into your color. All right. It's either Elspeth or Sylvan Library or Ponder. Those are my three picks. I think. Yeah, and I personally like. I would either take one of those or I would take one of the lands. Like I would. Yeah, maybe not. They're they're not like if they were all fetchable lands, I would say maybe. Let's take uh, four seconds. Let's take library. All right, I like that. Eh, fast bond. All right, that's not terrible. We can also take a Thran Dynamo. That does produce mana. I think it's actually Thran Dynamo. I think fast bond's worse than Thran Dynamo. Like we're allowed to do that, we can, we're like we're not just locked into taking green. Yes, because well, no, you can you can take uh you can take. Uh, if a colorless card produces mana, it doesn't change your color. Okay, all right. Yeah, we can. So take we can't that. take Tangle Wire here. Well, you can, but then you're locked into artifacts. Because okay. artifacts are, are are considered a color unless you're just taking a mana okay. a mana artifact. Uh, we can take Primal Command. Pro tip about Primal Command: every mode on it, secret secret mode. No one knows what that card does. <laughs> really? I, I, That's how it worked against Leovold the other day. Did you, I, were you here for those Leovold no. drafts? Where my opponent went Time Twister while I had Leovold out? And I was like, you don't draw any cards whatsoever, and I'll draw seven. <laughs> that was pretty amazing, dude. I, uh, <laughs> they, I play Green Red Ponza in Modern occasionally, and I play one Primal Command. And I've used, oh, I like both of these. I've used every mode on that card, and every time I've used a new mode on that card, they look at the card and they're like, it doesn't do that. Oh my god, does oh, that. Oh, it does that. <laughs> also, my opponent, also when I had Leovold out, they, they zeroed with Jace. They brainstormed with Jace. And that just meant they had to put the two cards in their hand back on top of their yeah. library for no real bonus. It's one of these two. Uh, I kind of like Planeswalkers over I like, a, a I like guy this, that gets bigger. I like this Nissa a lot, actually. Ooh, Bird Paradise. That guy's, that guy's a guy. Also an Avenger is in the car. Frank, I have, watch, I have I've watched all your vids and look forward to them all day and have the chance to catch you live at lunch. Can this get, get any better? Maybe. Hat Mike's here. There's also Hat Mike. Yeah, Hat Mike makes every day better. Time Twister is a part of Power 9, but um, just barely. It, <laughs> just barely. 
Pat, uh, Pat Time Twister is the one that goes over to the Power Nine party. It's like, hey guys, what's going on? I just I got here. I'm, I'm sorry, a little late. And everyone's like, yeah, man, cool. Yeah, all right. So anyway, Library of Alexander, you were saying, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, oh, that's cool, I guess. All right, are we taking Avenger? It's either Bird or Avenger. Yeah. I like this Thran Dynamo into Avenger though. Yeah, but then we only get like three plants. <laughs> yeah i guess that's true all right true. so what we can take a uh on color multicolor card right but correct that, but then we're but then that would lock us in, okay. a, in a blue or red the sip is wordy but it actually it's pretty easy yeah, to follow i think it's either it's one of these two i don't think we and the thing is like we can actually switch colors twice if we really really want to yeah but only twice yeah uh i kind of like rish car how many other creatures that might smell like concern well then, I mean, I think it's Arbor Elf. All right, it's just always it's always a ramp to three. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, all right. Oh, Paluki. I actually hate Palukernos. I've never like. It's every... just a five five for four man. Why you gotta be a hater? Can you explain that to me? Explain to me your hater status, because you seem like you seem like a hip. You seem like a hippie. I s- very hip, very cool. Very like it seems like you'd be real chill, man. I don't know. Like every time I have played with Pelucranos, I've been like, I'm, I'm not impressed with you. Like, and it almost has the word poly in the title. That's kind of like that seems like it'd be right up your alley, you know? Like with your, with, with your my, hip my, progressive my, stylings. Yeah, my my free thinking. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in this pack and the stipulation, it's that pack I think, is I think pretty that's bad. The pick. Oh, I'm gonna take this Vraska. Ooh, I like that. I actually think this Vraska is very, yeah. very underrated in this and, cube. And now we're black. Yeah, now we're black. Uh, Shriek Maw is good. I'm okay with a Shriek Maw. I like a Shriek Maw. Unfortunately, if there's only one black card in this pack, we have to take it though. We could switch, but Hipster Hat Hacky Sack. That's my nickname. I feel like this is gonna be one of those situations where like let's wait to switch and then at the end we'll have we'll we won't have switched once because we wanted to save them. Yeah. Like grenades in a first person shooter. You're like, oh I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna save these grenades. Uh, ultimate price. Yeah, that's actually a good one. Yeah. I don't wanna waste my rockets, so I don't wanna use it right now. Yeah, exactly. You gotta save gotta save for the big boss that's around the corner. And then like you beat the and game then, and you're like, Wow, yeah, I never fired like, this rocket all these once. Rockets. God, I should have is... I should have been using them more. I was wildly. a I was a fool. All right, so now so we, can we have to anything. take Progenitus or Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Um, no, because I don't think these are considered green or black cards. I don't think the gold cards count as those colors. Okay, but I don't know what to take here. I think we'll probably just take this. Actually, we'll take this in case we get natural ordered. Yeah, I'll just I was I'd probably take Jade Light Ranger anyway. All right, so like now we're back on green, uh, or no? We had like it was whatever because there wasn't a black card. Okay, I'm getting it. It's one of these two. I think it's song. I like song. It's very solid removal. Hey, he came back. Wow, to us. that's pretty good. No one. No this one, deck looks really good, actually. Yeah, no one likes the green cards, man, and I'm all about. Hey, oh, voice. A green card, and now we take white. I guess we do actually. Yeah, now we're white. Why didn't the stip work? Is that is that that command not work? It might be too long. Well, that's awkward. All right, so we take white or a mana producing. Thing. I'm real tempted to just to just break the stip for consecrated sphinx. I'll be honest, not break it, but like we're so to green. break color. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but have you ever cast this card before? I have. I have cast that card. What did you think? It was alright. It died immediately every time. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, no wonder you're no wonder no. you're not a fan of it. No, it I've I've drawn many cards. I used to be an EDH player, man. Uh, do you know how many cards I've drawn off Consecrated Sphinx? Probably about two hundred. So what's the pro problem is then? Alright, then let's let's do it, man. Let's let's take blue cards now. Why don't you just tell me what movie you're looking for? Wow, that was that's a that's a on point Seinfeld reference there. Oh god. I mean there is a swords here. There's an anguish I'm making here. Sword yeah, but Swords kills Consecrate Sphinx. Okay, we're blue now. Lo- Ooh, <laughs> Tropical Island. I like Tropical Island. I like Tropical Island too. Yeah. I think it's probably better than Muldrifter here. Yeah. Yep, free land. Oh, and a bayou? God, I hope that bayou comes back with all my heart because it's green. I don't think this. I don't think. I think the stip is actually too long to be put into. Into the into the commands. So. Mm. 
What happened? What did I miss? Palancron. Wow, you got real. <coughs> I think you almost died. Listen, man, I love Palancron. All right, here's the step. Someone, someone can save that and like. <laughs> someone is now the bot. I don't think it's actually posting it for me even. Yeah, like it's not showing up. Weird. Yeah, it's my first time drinking. Uh, I, it's, you know, it's a new, new thing for me. It's taking some, uh, taking some getting used to. Okay, there we go. That's half of it, so that'll give you an idea. Oh, Fraley's. I like Fraley's a lot, but we're actually blue, right? Yeah, we're. we're so we have to right take now. one of these right now. Gross. I don't think Palancron's great here. Yeah. Uh, like it, we don't have any like fancy boy lands to tap with it. <laughs> actually, is it just Ulmog? And then we're colorless. It does lock us in a colorless, doesn't it? Dang. So, all right, we're colorless. Well, now. we did it. Oh, coalition relic. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, verdant catacomb though. Grabs our tropical island. Grabs a swamp for our black yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's one of these two. Yeah, it's probably relic though. I, I was gonna say I think it's still relic though because it like progresses it, us forward. To it fixes all stuff. the things. All right, so no no colorless cards, which is great. This is an easy way out. Thunair, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Is this Garrick? I like Garrick. I don't I don't love this Garrick, but I also like him more than... Was it locked for a second? All right. Well, we're going to hope Let's that... just take that guy. Hello. Are we're we're back, back on to color. Are we back on call us again? Wait, do we... No, we have... No, wait. On... We ha... Don't we have to take the Descenders to <laughs> Oh, we do, actually. You're right. Oh, we can take Maelstrom Pulse, though. Okay. I like that better. Yeah, let's take Maelstrom Pulse. And now we're on black. Okay. Okay. So we are black again. This is a real hard stip. It is like a color chain stip. Yeah. That is a that is a good way of putting it. And we're... Yeah, we're... Yeah, we're out of color swaps, actually. Because we swapped to colorless to get the Ulmo. We used all of our rockets. Now we, this have, is... now we have no rockets. No, we have, one, we have one change. No, we changed from uh, we changed to blue to get Consecrated Sphinx. Right, that was our first change. And then we changed to colors to grab a Ulmog. Oh, I didn't realize. I totally forgot about that. All right, so we're black now, so we have to take the Abyss. Ooh, that's bad. I love the Abyss. Not in this format, but I love the Not Abyss. Not in this deck, either. Oh, now we have to take Bargain? <laughs> we can we actually can take, take Tesseract and go back to blue. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I think that's better than bargain. Yeah, I think so too. Oh boy! All right, so we're we're what are we blue now? Yeah. We're... All right, now we actually get a free pick. All right, uh, pilgrim. I don't. I think it's just a quagmire and keep it. Oh open. yeah, that's right. That's fine. All right, so we're free at last. Just wall of roots. Uh. We don't have many early ramp spells, which is yeah. Yeah, let's take wall of roots. Also, Rishkar on a, with a counter on wall of roots is pretty good. Ooh yeah. I don't think the Bayou came back. Uh, you can go to color. Oh wait, hold on. Can you go to colorless anytime? If colorless card person. No, like it's colorless. Oh, maybe maybe we can actually. Are we green? We're green, right? Fraley's is real good. Uh, yeah. Wall roots was in our last pick. I like Fraley's. It makes land of war elves. It does. It does make land of war elves. Wow, this consecrated sphinx is real out of place in this deck, but yeah, and you you wasted one of our rockets. <laughs> I figured we weren't going to use them on the boss, man. What up, Denmark? Um, so we are in green. Okay. These dips are so good. I've immensely enjoyed them. And how you succeed at making them fun with them. Yeah, me too. Oh, this is great. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Wow. I don't think anyone else is in green. Yeah, because we started out with Sylvan Library. And, and then everyone's like, I understand now. I'm going to steer clear. How's your water? It's very hydrating. You look you look really hydrated. Yeah. Your skin looks really, it looks really healthy. Thanks. I take good care of it. Do I, you? I drink water. Uh, I, I put lotion on it. Um, Do you? I put coconut oil on it. That's You put lotion and coconut oil? Yeah. Prove one of these things. I don't have coconut oil or lotion nearby. Well, then you don't put it on, do you? That's uh, We're still green, right? So, yes, but if we take this, we have to be white. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't. Well, <laughs> now we get to just pick. I guess we'll just pick the Descenders Deliverance. Yeah. Which I've seen multiple people main deck in this format, which is super interesting. Yeah. I think it's fine. It cycles for one. Like, yeah. it's playable. And it's still like a shatter, so. Ooh. I guess, are we red now? Yeah, we're red now. Oh, that's awkward, dude. I kind of feel like you should get to restart at the beginning. I, I actually think that, that, that as well. I don't, I don't think we should. 
Really? Uh, I say that now, but then I'm looking at this pack that's Burst Lightning and Goblin Dark Blood. Right. Like, well, I don't know what you'd expect here. So. Actually, we can take Lotus because it doesn't, it's a mana, it's a yeah. mana thing. And we could also take a land if we wanted. Actually, I think you can take artifacts at any point because otherwise you have no way to get into artifacts. That's fair. We think Wooded Foothills too, but that just literally gets Tropical Island. So I'm going to yeah. take the Gilded Lotus. Yeah. Meh. 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 This is a good. So we're still red. Gross. Do we take Fire and Ice and then go back to blue? <laughs> what we could do, that's actually not terrible. What we, we could do is just take lands until we see a red card that we want or a... Uh, yeah, like, because lands help, but, like, we're stuck in this, like, loop where we need to just take cards, and lands help us cast them, so. I feel like going back to blue, though. <laughs> <laughs> do you just want to do it? Let's do it. I feel like that's the spirit of the stipulation. That is, like, you're trying to find ways to get around. Yeah, that's clever, though. Yeah, I like that. All right, we're blue now. Locked into blue. You're kind of jumping around, right? Like, it's yeah. you're, you're finding bridges to the colors that you want or the cards you want and trying to navigate through the cards you don't, which is like, I'm sorry, you're really good, but I don't like you. All right, we got blue cards here. We got... Oh, God, they're real bad ones, yeah. though. <laughs> we got we have two cards that care about islands and then a counter spell that's double blue. Oh, and we don't, we don't have any, like, sideways guys out of here. Sideways guys? So. We just take Scrubland. Yeah, I mean, we probably can. That's fine. I don't. None of these blue cards are yeah. going to make our deck, so I'd rather take a scrubland that m might. Yeah. Um, it it if we play Kitchen Finks, it actually is a way to cast Kitchen Finks off of a, a black source. Right. If we get like a windswept heath, it's a way to get a black. So. Yeah. I mean. No, oh, smart. S smart. Decent enough fixing cast. Well, also, we got gilded lotus. Get wrecked, brain freeze. Yeah, we're not losing to that ever again even though we beat that guy never again well we did lose to the brain we lost to the brain freeze yeah J. Lou, thank you so much for the resub really appreciate it buddy biovisionary thank you for the resub really appreciate it look at all these people subbing yeah they're like uh they're like public sandwiches i do like public sandwiches don't we all don't we this video is not sponsored by Publix in any way boy i wish it was though thank you David, oh, six hey. months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. What There's... what what color did we pick last? Uh, we picked. Oh, we're still on blue. Yeah. Opposition's a good card. That's a playable. That's a playable card. Garrick makes tokens. Nissa makes lands. Fraley's makes, makes tokens. tokens. Vraska makes tokens. Avenger makes tokens. Like yeah, just getting an opposition out. Yeah, that's like... actually really good. This is 20... Frank and finally ate a burrito on Saturday. So Salty, how was your burrito? So Salty lives in Germany, and he's never had a burrito before. Okay. And um, there's, like, actually not a lot of places there that actually serve burritos or Mexican food, I right. guess. Um, so he's like, I've never had a burrito. Is this... Should I go do this? Is this thing I should yeah. do? And we were like, yeah, definitely. You you, you really need to make this happen. How was it? How was your burrito? Tell me about your burrito experience. I want to know, too, because my last name sounds like burrito. That's true. It, that, that's actually my name at work burrito yeah and if i pull up slack you'll see that my picture is a burrito that's incredible <laughs> all right no blue cards we, uh, we're, we're free to we're free to go I about mean, there technically is a sphinx's revelation that doesn't count though <laughs> no i mean it doesn't like it's it's not a blue card it's a multicolor card have mike mike sounds nothing like burrito <laughs> it's not death right if we had fetch lands that would be like death yeah. right shaman all day it's just yeah my elder I mean, I do like Big Garrick. I feel like we just have so many five drops already, and two of them are already good planeswalkers. All right, let's yeah, let's take Yavin my I also like I don't mind Animate Dead, but I, we don't have a way to get our guys in the graveyard, so we're mostly relying on theirs. Yeah, I like Elder. Yeah, it gets our colors. Oh, Lumbering Falls, but then an Oracle. What do? Manglehorn. We have twenty four playables already. Manglehorn's very good as well. I, we probably want the Lumbering Falls. I agree with you. Like, we have double blue spells we want to cast. Windswept Heath. Hey, it's that's it's here. That's the situation we were looking for with that Scrubland. Now we can play Scrubland and actually get black, white, or blue with it. You have to take the Rev, I thought, and it forces... No, you don't have to. 
Uh, multicolor cards do not count as as their. I I thought it was, but apparently not. All right, what are we still on? What are we on now? Yeah, you may take on color multicolor cards, which then changes your color. You you're, you don't have to. I actually brought that up with him. I was like, hey, do I have to take like, can I take? What are we in now? We uh, we took you out of my elder. Okay, yeah, so, so we're we're, we're land of war elves. Yeah. We're green. Hi, your arc. <laughs> Hi, your arc. That's my arc, Nicholas. All right, we need three cuts right now. I think. Oh God. I don't Dude, like. We can put Rish. We can put Rishkar counters on Arbor Elf and Noble Hierarch, and that can produce a green mana. I'm gonna take this throne for the sideboard. I'm sorry. That's ex that's literally what I was thinking. I'm like, no, <laughs> no. It was on a big fair in Munich. Was great. Well, limited experience so far, but I'll try the next one as soon as possible. It was with Chili and Carney on. Yeah, nice, nice. Regrowth's good. Regrowth actually is surprisingly good in this. Survival. It's a late is... survival. Now we have a way to get things in our graveyard. <laughs> we can just discard this Ulamog if we want. And then reanimate it, obviously. We are reanimate. That's not how that works. Step's not working. I, it's, I don't know. Oh, it actually, that's because someone just literally did it oh. two seconds earlier. So. so it's like, yeah, whatever. Look, we can just get this. Oh, Primal Hunter. Look, we got him anyway. I love that man. Primal Hunter. We have four cuts to make. That's a lot. Uh, I think we can cut one of these. Yeah, probably like. like Lenore was yeah. easily the worst. I mean, because we have Tropical we hit, Island, yeah. which is double blue. In two Moolvog. Solid. Solid. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could ever go wrong. Literal zero. We, we got some We got some hun hunters in the chat. Oh, I'll take this Iona, and now we're locked into white. Oh, it's okay. Wow, that was actually a really good last pick. We got that. Primal Hunter. <laughs> oh, that's good times. I think we can cut Primal Command, actually. I could care less about Primal Command. I love Primal Command. Okay, but, but I, you can't love all five of these. I, I do. Maybe Gilded Lotus? No, we need that. Do we? Like, no, we if we have the mana that. to cast all of... If we, we have, have the mana to cast this, though. we're probably fine with these. Yeah, you're right. Let's get that Lotus out of here. I think we can still cut one of these five drops. It's probably going to be Primal Command. Like. Yeah, I think the other ones are all stronger. Yeah. This guy says draw five cards at some point. Yeah, and Fraley says destroy a target artifact or enchantment. We can probably cut Rishkar too. I mean, all the things he's going to put counters on can already make mana. Oh, I'll tap this to make a green instead of any color. I'll tap this to make a green instead of this. The only thing it benefits is Wall of Roots. Yeah, because then we can tap Wall of Roots and then remove a counter or put a counter. We can make so much mana is the point I'm trying to get to. Our deck has, has a lot of mana sources. Hold on. Let's see how many we actually have. Six. This is 23, 23 cards that make mana in our deck. Maybe is it worth it just to cut black? Because we only have ultimate price shriek. We like, have no reason to though. Yeah, like we have scrubland, hissing quagmire, and we, windswept heath. We also are very like removal light. Right, and that's all of our removal basically. Yeah, I think this deck's good. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah, where is the cough? Mana. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, didn't see cough in the draft at is all. Is that, that what means, you're saying? I mean, someone took that. Someone took that cough. Someone right. took that. <laughs> someone took my cough. Oh, you're here for the water jug. Well, they took our jorbs. Here it is. I'm here. <laughs> hey, I'm here for the water jug. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so let's see what our mana is. Also, this Consecrated Sphinx is just amazing in this deck. Hey, guys, I'm a double blue card. Oh, I'm a double blue card, too. All right, one, two. Three, four, five. Wow, homeless Mike. All these are six. very mean. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can go to seven here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five. This is this is probably fine. We also don't have any any double black cards, which is nice. All right, let's do it. You ready? Yeah, I'm. Oh, I want to rock and roll all night. You seen your mom at, at 4.30, you said? Yeah. All right, so you're going to leave me alone to having to having crush crush nerds on my own. I we, mean, we can we can probably finish the draft and then and then go. Can you really? Can you postpone? Yeah. I'll play first. Yeah. Ooh. This hand's, like, really fair. Yeah, it's an extremely fair. Garrick into Garrick. <laughs> Do we keep this? I mean, Jade Light Ranger is going to, like, draw some cards or 
become a big man. On turn, literal actual turn, turn three, three, though. <laughs> yeah. That's when our opponents usually win the game. When is... All right, like, do we... Do we have anything going on, like, that can accelerate stuff in our draws? We got a lot of two-mana cards, like a lot of two-mana right. rampies. And maybe that's something, like, we need to account for on this. Do we keep this hand? I mean, I, I kind of want to keep it, but I'm also a real bad Magic player. I kept it. All right. It's Here not we... nice to keep Hat Mom waiting. <laughs> my mom doesn't wear a hat. Did you steal her hat? No, I got this hat from my dad. It's, Did you steal your dad's hat? It's genetic on my father's side. It's <laughs> that's fair. That was that was a forest, not not a, not a card we're looking for. However, next turn we do get to start doing stuff, so that's good. Yeah, our, and our opponent is just like playing islands and swamps. What is that card? Oh, bitter blossom. I've never once won with a bitter blossom. I've only ever lost with it. Interesting. Yeah, due to it killing me. Doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo. It killing me. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that guy's going to the graveyard. And we don't really need you either. Look how big it is. That's what she's... Nice 4-3. 19 turn clock. That's where they go Bone Shredder. And then we are sad. That's, that's, that's worse than a Bone Shredder, actually. Ain't nobody gonna... Actually, we got a Garrick, which is pretty good, but then it just dies. Blah. We could have it just fight the fairy and then flip. Yeah, but then, like, how do we deal with these snakes? I want to get rid of it, this because this is problematic for the rest of the game. He only has the... one snake. Wow. What did they get rid of? Torrential Gearhulk? Good lord. That's... It's aggressive. Yeah, and we're just going to play another one next turn. You don't even know about my Garrick life. What sound was it the Bone Shredder made? I don't know. What Did I make a noise? What? Kee, 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 kee. <laughs> That's it... the sound the Bone Shredder makes. Man, he's got a lot of dumb, flying, death-touching, mean guys. Can I get one Marsh Casualties here? That would be amazing, right? I don't right? think that's in Legacy Cube. Yeah, and we also don't have two black yet. We have to have my Elder. Huh. Oh, I'll probably kill you. Okay, so wait. If we play this Garrick, he goes to four. We can actually just draw four with this Garrick, which is probably better. Yeah. Don't force spike me, bro. Yeah. Cool harmonize. Let's draw four, bro. That's better than harmonize. Cool, slightly better harmonize. Yeah, it's significantly better harmonize. We, we paid one mana more to draw one card more. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah, that's great value. It's a green tidings. Literally green tidings. Oh. All right. Well, sure. You're going to hit one of these? Oh, you're going to hit this, aren't you? That's, yeah, real, that's probably, worse. Probably going to hit the card that draws us 100 million cards. Winsome Tease also gets to the black source, which is nice. Yeah. Hark the herald angels, Mike. Hat Mike. Oh, this is a newborn king. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Is he saying do, do? We have acidic slime in the deck because we're definitely bringing we that dude have, in. We do have slime time in the deck. I'm pretty sure that dude's in our sideboard. Oh no, slime time! What are you doing in there, bud? I'm bringing slime time and Thrun in. Yeah, both those dudes are coming in. Yeah, he's playing blue. Meh, see? Meh. They took like Elder. That's have weird. they ever read Sylvan Library? Nah, probably not. He's like, it's like a paragraph of text. It can't be good. I wish I, I really wish I had a card that could just shut down all this. Everything that's happening over here. Uh, what is what is it like? Sandstorm. Hey, you can shut down all that right now that's with true. that maelstrom pulse. Do I want to kill the fairies or just kill the bitter blossom though? I don't know. I know. I'm actually surprised at how beneficial this this scrubland ended up being. So, how many more things do we have in our deck to kill Bitter Blossom? Not many. So, we should probably get rid of Bitter Blossom now and worry about the creatures. How many things do we have that can actually deal with these fairies, yeah. though? So, we're going to play Sylvan Library and Noble this turn, right? Yeah. So, we're going to get to see a lot of cards. So, like, I feel like us being able... Because, yeah, like, Sylvan Library is going to let us see, like, a crap ton of cards... 
which is going to put us in a good spot. I mean, that's what you think. It's only three cards, man. It's not a crap ton. It's a crap ton. And then we're probably going to take, like, 20 damage to draw. Oh, we can just draw a Consecrated Sphinx. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, and then what is he going to do? Our opponent is winning with three lands in play. That's just sad. Realistically, we should have just left the Bitter Blossom on field because, like I said, I've never won with the Bitter Blossom. I've only ever lost with it. Yeah, well, it's a good card to lose with. I've also only lost with Dark Confidant, um, and I purposely have my opponent keep their Dark Confidants around until they draw a card that... <laughs> that kills them? No, that is a land. Because then, like... And you're like, that's it, you've outlived your Yeah, I was like, look... We I had was, a deal, I, buddy. I was fine when you were, like, just blasting your owner for three every turn, but now I'm... I like how the program crashed and then we crashed. Quality program. I think we were both like, for real? Oh. Hey! Nope. 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 Still dead. All right. All right. Yeah, but like, so my thought is my opponent's playing this Dark Confidant. It's dealing damage to them. It's going to kill them eventually. So whatever. But if it's only drawing them lands, then I'm upset with it. You feeling me? It's when they draw. The first, I, yes, I understood before you even when, explained it. When they draw the first land, that's when I'm like, I'm done with that's you, it. and yeah. I kill it. Yeah, I kill it right there. I could have 25 lightning bolts in my hand, and the judge is like, "Sir, you need to leave the venue. You are cheating. This is a grand prix. Go." We we thought you were joking with your deck registration, but <laughs> yeah, they let it slide. They're like, "Oh, that's cool. It's a completely wow. This is amazing. What's happening here?" There we go, we did it. Alright. Do we have double motos? Let's see if the other one has actually repaired itself. Apparently not, because it won't open, so. Do we have triple motos? Just double motos. Did we are we gonna lose the game? Cause we are no longer playing? Yes, we're losing right now. Crap. It has nothing to do with the disconnection. Crap. Magic Online could also be crashing. Anyone let me know? Anyone know? Anyone might log on to Magic Online right now? No, why would they be on Magic Online? They're watching us. That's a good point. Oh man, my phone is at five percent battery life. What kind of what's your what's your charge? Micro micro y yusbub. Oh, one of those one of those fancy doodads. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, a charger. <laughs> oh hey. We did it. We good job. Good teamwork. Alright. I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm pretty sure my computer is having some Magic Online malfunctions here. And while we wait for Magic Online, welcome back to ASMR time. We're not dropping frames and we're still live, so I have no idea what's going on. Also, my, my task manager not coming up is pretty suspect, so. It's, it's probably somewhere. Oh, I can see it. Look, it's right there. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, we I can't do anything, though. All right, here we go. It came up finally. Hey. So my control alt delete's probably going to register a little late too. We're having a good time. Oh, it's not responding. This only happens when I run Magic Online. It literally doesn't happen. Oh, hey. There we go. Cancel. All right. Okay. Oh, Firefox is like really eating up some memory here. I'm going to exit Firefox. Goodbye, Firefox. All right, let's end this task, and let's end this task as well. Not responding. Okay. Sorry, guys. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I apologize for the, the hiccups here. Yeah, we'll cut that out. <laughs> I probably won't. It just takes too long to do. Yeah, we'll cut that out. Why don't you cut that out? All right, I feel like we're running more smoothly right now. You think I didn't have 64 gigabytes of RAM in my computer? Do I have 32 or 64? I don't know. I have five. That's not as many. That might be less. I think that's less. I don't know, man. I'm pretty good at numbers. Yeah, but you didn't say whether it was less or more. So, I mean, your 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 skill at numbers really doesn't... Matt, Mike, is this my doing? No. I Listen, I, I don't touch computers. He's very good at them. Didn't he just say he was really good at no, them? No, I'm good at numbers. That's true. He did. It's my bad. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, we did it. 
I'll see it when I believe it. I, I will also see it when I believe it. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Hold on. All right, oh, go. we're live, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we we declared our blockers. We took a lot of damage. Oh, I should have said we should have killed the fairies, and then we could have killed the bitter blossom. Consecrated sinks one time. Yes. God, we're so good at this game. Muy bueno. Um, put you on top. Put you on top. Don't cryptic command me, bro. I want to vomit. We should have had the soul read and put consecrated sphinx. On top. We'll just we'll wait till next turn randomly. <laughs> That's real stupid, man. So we're going to draw the song now. And then we're like songing the vanillion click or something. I was going to ultimate price to Medallion Click. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we're songing uh, probably none of this. Probably none of this, yes. Okay. I want to just... It's cool, man. We have a Sylvan Library. We'll see Consecrated Sphinx again later. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a good. that was a good choice. Magic's hard, man. It is very hard. I sometimes you try to play it to, and then you don't, because then they do the thing, and then your stuff is gone, and you're like, what? And then they're like, GG. And you're like, but it was BG. And that's the that's the story of Magic: The Gathering. Hey, he chose blue. Do you think he's gonna cryptic command now? I don't think he's gonna do anything. I think they're gonna go to their combat, and then they're gonna have one mana that just disappears. Oh god, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna. Treachery. Mm. I'm impressed. We can uh, treachery that, or uh, we can song of dryads that treachery, right? I don't. I think we actually you can. I think yeah, because it would just yeah, and then we we get our guy back. Yeah, I mean, I hope they attack with this Ophiomancer and forget about lumbering falls. Wow, you're just being a real dick right now. Rude boy. Come on, rude boy, boy, come on, man. They didn't. That's real sad. Wow, Snake Man's finally getting in there. That's amazing. Hipster hacky sack Mike. That's me. What do you? What's up, bud? That's Billy Vasilaskis. You know Billy? Yeah, I know. I know Billy Bob Thornton. That's not. No one said that. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? I, I don't know. You, I you, you raised me to be this way. That's that's all your mother's doing. Can I get my dude back? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are so close to this Ulamog. It, the funny thing is I'd rather have the ten mana Ulamog. Yeah. William Robert Thornton. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I like how Mike Mike has spawned a pack of alternate mics. <laughs> That's funny how how uh, he's not even just Mike. How omnipresent Mike is. He's not Mike anymore. That's he's Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike. That's how you can determine the original. From the moment I wake up, I'll say a little prayer for you. I feel like we're losing this game. Is this game one? Yes, it has to be. still game one. God, it feels like it's gone on forever. Ultimate Mike. First of his name. First Mike among Mikes. Did your hunter biting his nails back there? Was he biting his nails? Yeah. I thought he was chewing on some kibble. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Oh, a Tassiger. That, that guy's cool. I like how he tapped our forest for it. That's... Wait, where did the... Oh, they used the black from the Coalition Relic, I guess. They're going to just activate Tassiger? Sure. Uh, you can have this Orzhov Signet. Get wrecked. I feel like we need to have a tournament of the mics to determine the ultimate mic. 
What is what tournament like? Of the mics. Yeah, no, but what is partaking in this tournament? Uh, you determine the ultimate mic. Uh, so it's not really so much a tournament as it is just like a judging contest. Yes. So what are we using to judge? Oh, hey, opposition. I think we're dead. I do not feel good. I want to pay for a life. Oh, I can't. Dang it. So sad. Let's go to the next game. Let's bring in Acidic Slime because they have a lot of targets. Slime time. And let's also bring in Thrun. <clears throat> yeah. Which is significantly better than Pelucranos. Actually, Pelucranos can kill a bunch of their fairies, so I'm not actually low on that. I'm going to take out the Dynamo. Take out Shriek Maw. Yeah. <laughs> that Shriek guy's terrible. Shriek Maw ain't doing too much. All Shriek Maw. I'm tempted to bring in this Voice of Resurgence, to be quite honest. They got, a, they got a Force of Will. They got a Vendillion Click. I'll say a little prayer for you. What are the odds of playing it? We have Windswept Teeth, Scrubland, Noble Hierarch, Sylvan Carry Added, Coalition Relic. We have like five main deck sources of white. My nose is itching and I'm not really thrilled about it. Oh, you want me to scratch it? No, I'm going to blow my nose though. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Hold on. You guys are gonna still listen though, so we can still. What do you? Uh, what do you? You have any sideboarding suggestions? Um, I say, um, take out all of our lands. Oh, here we go. And put in the progenitus, and then just submit the deck and see what happens. Okay, so the, we we do. Let's say we do that. What do you think happens? Um, we lose. And you feel like that's a solid strategy for victory. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, hey, Dave. That's Dave. DCM Dame? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I stream with that guy. Do you? Yeah. I've never seen you stream. Well, have you visited his channel? No, because you've never told me, hey, I'm streaming right now. I'm going to be go to this channel. All right, you win this round. Yeah, I win all the rounds. You know why? Because I am not. I don't take out my, all my lands well, and we put in Progenitus. We didn't win that last round, though, Frank. That's not. That wasn't a round. That was just a game. Okay, you're right. Get wrecked. I like this hand. It's got Sylvan Library. Into Coalition Relic, into Consecrated Sphinx on turn four. I like it. That's really all I want to do. Phantom Mike has abducted Frank. <laughs> this is where they go Inquisition us, get rid of Sylvan Library, and then we're just in terrible, terrible shape. Man. Oh, and four spikes, bro. No. Oh, didn't. And we got slime time. Oh, we do have slime time. Oh, my my mana rocks better, boy. Why are you here? Can you not be here? I guess you technically. Wow. Oof. Jesus. This is. <laughs> you go on top, and you go on top. Actually, we'll look at you later. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on top. Uh, we're definitely not casting you. Because we can cast any of those next turn. Yeah. Which is super nice. Put the charge counter on this. Could have also played Arbor Elf, I guess. That might have been better. If we played Arbor Elf, we couldn't have nothing. I mean, we could just play. Arbor oh yeah, Elf like of, we could. We could charge have, counter. Yeah. yeah. Nick Prop. is Nick is my favorite streamer. So happy to see his face. He's been gone for years. I've been gone for days. I've been gone for days. Too. I'm gonna frailies this Bitter Blossom right now and hope they don't have. Ah. Uh, Oh my god, really? Like three that's, We're all friends. That's We're hanging brutal, out together. Dude. I'll pay for life to keep in hand. Put you on top. I really just want to not have one, two. Yeah, that elf would have been great here. I guess it doesn't super matter because Don't have Force of World, other card. Yep, they're deciding what to pitch. Never don't have it. Yep, figures. Yeah, it'll be fine. You still got slime time. <sighs> that was really frustrating. You still got slime time. Yeah, but Frilly's is so good. Yeah, Frilly's is very good. Now they also they're untapped. Ugh, gross. They only have two cards in hand, though. I guess that's good. Ophiomancer again? No.
Really? All right. One land in the next two cards. One time. Okay, thank you. Uh, put you on top. Put you on top. You okay? We're going to say something? No. What were you going to say? No, I wasn't going to say anything. Just say it. Uh, all right. You want me to say what I was going to say? Yeah. We've seen a lot of planeswalkers in this open library. <laughs> You're right. Like, almost <laughs> all of them. Here's a Fraley's and a Nissa and two Garricks. Oh, thank you. This is a good blocker. I don't know if you knew that. This blocks this. Next time we can go Maelstrom Pulse and Arbor Elf and then still put a counter on this, which is nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we can I think we can win this game. I think so too. Our opponent only has two cards in hand and we have super card selection. Super card selection. I see. This is Bone Shredder Man. I see. Um Well We don't want him to have any of those. That's correct. That's so I think I think Buncher is probably the, the least. I mean, he's going to play it when we play, like, Consecrated Sphinx. Right? Oh, I'm never going to play Consecrated Sphinx while he has that in hand. But I don't want them to get anything else, and I don't want to have to deal with Bitter Blossom again. So, yeah. so we're going to untap. Yeah, we're just going to. We're in good shape here. I'm just going to keep drawing. <laughs> Garrick's. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just going to keep playing lands and, <laughs> and drawing and just Garrick's. And the same yeah. Garrick's over and over again. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty brutal. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go this guy. Actually, what we can do, we can tap this and or we can tap these five, untap the forests, Maelstrom Pulse, and play Arbor Elf. Yeah. We don't get to play Consecrated Sphinx next turn, but we're not going to anyway because they have Bone Shredder in hand. Right. So, so I like that. And if they want to kill our acidic slime with your bone shredder, knock yourself out. So we know they have bony in hand. Don't call him that. Old bony. <laughs> <laughs> God, if it made that noise, I would be like, yes, please, just put me out of my misery. <laughs> please end me. Just, I don't need to hear this. Just stop. Oh, old. God, I really wish I had like a. Uh, it, it is ecstatic caster or something in this matchup. Yeah, that'd be very good. But Obviously, planeswalkers hang out in the library to get more smarter. It's probably true. It's, that's the smartest sentence I've heard in my life. You're the smartest sentence I've heard in my life. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. You're the nicest thing that I've ever said to me. Uh, what? Yeah, got him. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have actually Ulamog mana. Ooh, Ulamog, three cards down, please. Or just yeah, I guess it has to be because we know the top Dude, two is it's the, Garrick and Garrick. Two Garricks, two best Garrick friends hanging out together. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, Let's there's see. Garrick. We knew about that guy. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we're just taking this Garrick and shooting this Ophiomancer. Yeah. Kind of sucks, but. Actually, do we take both Garricks and play them both? Oh my god, we can play them both! Oh, that's so good! Yeah, we can do that. Oh, we're still in the... This is still trigger on the stack. We'll, we'll just resolve this just to be safe. Untap up to four targets. One, two, three, four. Or do we, we can actually kill the Baleful Strix, then Garak lives because it only takes one. I don't think we care about the Ophiomancer as much because we can make beasts with this one. Yeah. My friend Dave is asking if uh, you want if you can share some childhood stories about you and me. Uh, so yeah, when I when I first birthed Nick, um, he was knee high to a grasshopper, you know. And then uh, when we when we first uh, touched our foreheads together, it was uh, it was a real good time. It was it was intimate. It was an intimate moment. Weren't we doing that to the Ophiomancer? No, 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 because oh, I yeah, want to yeah, get yeah. rid of the flyers, because we yeah. can just block... Like, if they want to attack with the one snake, that's fine. I'll yeah. block it with a beast, and I'll just keep making beasts. Yeah, that's right. Look at all of our planeswalkers. Oh, man, we can also use Garrick to search for uh, Ulamog. Other Garrick. Oh, God, you're right. 
Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That guy has Annihilator. Did you know that? Also, they, they exiled Treachery with their Force of Will, so that's pretty that's cool. That's absurd. Well, they're, are they playing a card right now? Because we know they have Bone Shredder in one other card in hand. Murderous Cut on the Acidic Slime. Yeah, no one cares about that. I don't care about that. We're just going to get Ulamog next turn. <laughs> <laughs> and we know all you have is Bone Shredder and one rando card, I guess. Yep. All right, so Bone Shredder's coming down killing this beast. I guess now we can't get Ulamog, which is sad. I mean, we still can. Well, they could alpha at the Garrick, and then we can't. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe they won't do that. Maybe they'll kill other Garrick. I mean, whatever they go at, I'm, yeah, they're definitely going for it. Okay. Actually, if they do this, I'm probably just blocking and getting Ulamog. Uh, do we have enough mana for that? After, yeah, we Four, do. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, yeah we're fine. And we get to kill a snake, which Are is not they... exciting at all. Where's Ophiomancer going? Is it going at... Other okay. Garrick. Right, yeah. Who cares? Long hair, don't care, Ophio Mare. Put a charge. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is gonna be ten eleven. Yep. And there's a land on top, so we can just actually take the land if we really needed it. Which we don't. But we'll take it anyway. Yeah, because Because I'd rather be hitting land drops than putting cards in my hand that I'm not actually gonna play. Black blue. We'll say blue. Alternatively, we can just make a. We can just not do that. They have no cards in hand. I am worried about some activating colonnade. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> also, I mean, like grabbing Ulmog. I I feel like we should just do that. Grab Ulmog. Yeah. I like I think it's what are we killing colonnade yeah we're killing colonnade and then like we have a creature that's just slowly eating their board that they need to have an exile removal spell for what we can do is actually uh sacrifice one of the forests dude oh wait no we can't never mind I was gonna say we could uh grab Ulamog and then draw 11 cards but we can't do that because we need the beast token <laughs> and he's only on two yeah we're definitely untapping this no matter what we do. Yeah. And we're getting rid of Colony, I imagine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is eleven. Well, that's the only option for this guy. Now we can sacrifice it. Uh search she search out for creature put it in your hand. We get Ulamog, we get rid of this. Yep. Um this is our only creature. We have a blocker for Ophiomancer, which you're probably not attacking with that. So we can block Snake. And then we don't lose any Planeswalkers. Yeah. Yeah, that seems good. We do lose a Garrick, unfortunately. But we're getting a little Mog, so I guess we'll just try to deal with it. Yeah, we're, we're losing a Planeswalker. We're getting a 10-10. <laughs> and we know Treachery is gone. Put that in your trash can, little man. Can't you lick colonnade? Colonnade? I'm not licking no colonnades, buddy. Also, this could could just die. They might not pay for it, so that's cool. I feel like we've out we've out attritioned them, thanks to four planeswalkers and an Ulamog <laughs> and a concert and Sphinx. <laughs> Summon library is a real card. Yeah. Have you ever brainstormed every single turn? We won the game. Yeah, it's. I mean, it was either he has a like path to exile or sword of plowshare, or he's like I'm dead. Do we care about this? Does this kill? How many relevant things does this kill? We saw Orzov Signet. Yeah. And we saw Baleful Strix. Yeah. I don't think that's enough. I don't think so either. Hey, how about we play the Abyss and we can uh, deal with their dude? He plays Bitter Blossom. We play the Abyss. He loses. Oh, sorry about a, that. A token every turn. Yeah, he loses. Um, but how do they win? Yeah, they're just paying one life to sacrifice a token. Can't win. Can't win. Impossible to win. Regrowth actually seems pretty good. Yeah. But actually, I like this hand. This hand's sweet. This is probably our best hand yet. Yeah. Turn two Elder into Crack Elder into Opposition. Uh, we oh, we don't know. Well, maybe he'll take the Elder. Maybe he'll take the Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah, he's like, I, can't, I need my Bitter Blossom to stay alive. No, they took the, did this We can still draw Arbor, Arbor Arby's. Arbor Arbor Arby's. We can draw. We can still go to Arby's. 
<laughs> I'm still I'll still good. I like that we can get two islands with opposition. Or really every game with the bitter blossom? Yeah, it's fine. It's really kind of obnoxious. I'm probably just gonna maelstrom pulse it. And then they're probably gonna force of will it because they have force of will bitter blossom every single game. So, you know. What can you do? Here we go. Oh, we did it. <laughs> that sound came out of your mouth? Yeah. It's impressive. This is where they go land Tassiger. Oh, they didn't do anything. Hey, that, we got Ulmog. I'm just going to play this guy. They didn't have Forcible last turn, so maybe they don't this turn. And maybe we're just way, way ahead. Yeah. Oh, now they have a daze. Boring. Always a pleasure, daze. Hat Mike brought us kazoo. <laughs> Hat Mike plays. He does play a mean mouth kazoo. Yeah. If we draw land, I'm just gonna windmill slam this frailies. Well. <laughs> wow, oh, really? This is how you. This is who you want to be. <sighs> you got it. He's gonna be like, uh, hey, you. I don't want this Ulamog. You can. We'll just get that guy away. Put him at the bottom of your library. Don't want you playing that guy anytime soon. This is frustrating. You so many Mike friends. You so many Mike friends. That's barely English. That's also Mike. McGimp is also named Mike. Oh, hi, Mike. Oh, wow. Look what they gave us. What did they take? They, Frailies? Yeah, they put Frailies away. I like that you do it immediately. Like, Well, because I don't want them to untap and have like... Right, right. No, I get that, but, like, it's like, thanks. <laughs> Look what you gave me. Look what you did. You did this. You got talent, Mike, boy. Pay costs. Here comes Tasker, because they also have that every game. Yep, they're deciding what to delve. Yep, all right, we're having a good time. Yeah, it's fine. Is it? Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't feel fine. Actually, they can activate Tasker, I guess, so. Next turn, we can get two lands. We can opposition... We can have nothing on board. <laughs> Hipster Mike has new words. <laughs> Speak into the mic, Hipster Mike. Oh, Hello. Man. My name is Hipster Mike, coming at you live from... Coming at you live from the studio. The Thunderdome. Today we're, uh, we're doing a little uh, Vintage Cube. We just sacrificed three of my elder, and we're going to draw some cards. And we're also going to get some lands. All this coming up next on Hipster Mike's Hipster Mikeathon. Okay, so we really just threw. Oh, that was such a good draw! <laughs> Dave, you understand the shirt. You have one. Wow, we get to kill this. Vraska lives, and then we can still we like we have enough mana to plot four, five, six, seven, eight. We're so close to... Oh, my God, dude. ...to Guy. That's his name. You have, a, you have a Mike Elder, I believe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Both of... Yeah, both of... Both of Varaska. Do it. She still lives. Both of Varaska tells me that you don't have any way to deal with Varaska, so... Yeah. You're just we, gonna... Then we make a Menace Man. <laughs> I'm a, I was a Menace Man. One, two... Actually, let's... Yeah, I don't think it matters, but... One... No, we're going to play Quagmire this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're so close. I think we're going to win this game. I'm feeling good about it, man. We can tap down one of his lands. Oh, yeah, a thousand percent. I'm a menace man. Look at that guy. He's very menacing. He's like, I'm so menacing. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, look at me I want you to look at me What we can do is go Oh he's doing the smart boy Oh that's actually very good Is that how that works? Remove all charge counters yeah. and Oh wow that's so smart He's a smart boy I don't care You can't treachery that <laughs> Oh Oh <laughs> Oh, 
I'd watch a Mike Swole, Mike and Hat Mike stream. Me too. Like, not even us, like, doing anything. Just just a stream of us, <laughs> like, living together. <laughs> Come on. Wait, what? Yeah, you're just sitting there, you're like, so what do you guys, what do you guys like to do for fun? Get swole. <laughs> Wear a hat. <laughs> Be regular. <laughs> Oh wow! Look at you doing. Look at all the things you're doing. He's like, uh, it's... oh, dude, yeah, we got stretch and Perkins. Perkins stream <laughs> nailed it. Oh, wonder what Muffin Mike's gonna get. Oh, wait in suspense. <laughs> he's gonna do it. He's doing it. He's ordering his muffin. Hey, what do you think he got with the demonic tutor? I don't know. Some kind of nonsense that we don't care about. Oh, he got that. That's a good one. That's a good card. It's a good card too, though. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One short, but next turn. What we can do is activate Hissing Quagmire and tap down a bunch of their stuff. Yeah. I like that. Me too. That's smart. <laughs> God, he's a genius. Being regular seems like Mike Mike's specialty. I'm going to actually activate Lumbering Falls instead. That way they can't kill it. Right, I don't want them to kill one of my lands. That's that's why you're the smart man. And I'm just the hat guy. You are just the hat guy. If they add a mana here, we're going to the draw step. I'll tap it in response. Oh, they didn't. All right. What? No. There we go. We did it. <clears throat> should have a sleepover stream where everyone wears pajamas. Wow. Does it have to be during the day or should it be at night, you think? Uh, both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's uh let's just do a twenty four hour stream where we just wear pajamas. Okay. Uh what do we want? Scrumbling? Do we need do we care about the white? Uh maybe. Not, yeah, all right. Probably not, but maybe. Put on top. One, two, three. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, put on top. Oh, chat's right. Tap their blue first, maybe? Yeah, that's that's definitely a play. Okay, they didn't add anything, so. Here's this big man. Whoa, here's this big man. And then we're going to use uh, Opposition Tap Ulamog yes. to tap down a... Because <laughs> there's no way they're they're treachering this dude. Yeah. Here's my big man. Look at my big man. I mean, you're probably right, but we're just casting Ulamog. Shouldn't you fit your after the seven library? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I just wanted to send the library. I know actually having being able to shuffle is probably more valuable, though. But, I mean... It's harder to do. It's harder to play perfect when you're streaming and having having a guest and interacting with the guest and interacting with the chat and trying to play the match. I don't know if you guys knew that. Wow, force of will. It's pretty good. That's a solid play. I think we can lose now. No, we're fine. I don't think so. This is like a four turn clock here. Yeah, we're fine. They're probably just gonna treachery this guy and play something else because that actually puts them really far ahead. Actually, we can just top deck Willemog, I guess. Braids? What? We have so many more things. Yeah, that's strange. You can keep that forever. That's interesting. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of a swamp. All of Roots is okay. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Top. I forgot we had that in our deck. Honestly. So wait, we can just go one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. Yeah, we're definitely playing Nissa. Untapping four, playing Avenger. Remember that time I thought we were gonna lose, and then we just did this. Braids might have been nicer turn four. Agreed. <laughs> Especially after this. 
So we can play around days if you have it. Daisy and you've boy. already force of willed, so Daisy Boy. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> Hi oh <laughs> And that's how an adventure what was it like nine tokens? That's a lot. Remember that time I told you a play and you completely and utterly lost? I do remember that time. That was a good time. Did we want to change anything? I don't I, think so. I don't know. I think I think we want the acidic slime main board. What's a main board? Main deck. Oh, okay. I didn't understand Sorry, what you I'm meant. Stupid. I, <laughs> I almost like it better than like Jade Light Ranger. More like Shit Light Ranger. Am I right? Am I right? You're right. We could cut. We got a 16 lands with this deck. Maybe. You're thinking about it. He yeah. means side deck. I'm doing it. We're 16 in it. Actually, right. you know what I'm doing? We're 41 in it. All right. I like 41. So do I. I don't. I don't care about your 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 conventions, your numbered conventions. Yeah. What was your What was your juice at before? Oh, five. How do you always get your phone to five? Oh. Where's your Where's your button? It's on the back. Back oh. button. 24. All right. We're getting there. It's good. That is good. Hello, Frank and Hoodie wearing a bespectacled fella. His name is literally in. It's it's what? in the stream title. It's also, this is not a hoodie. Yeah, there's no, you're like, you have no hoodie on whatsoever. <laughs> that was like, I didn't even think about that. I'm like, that's not a hoodie. You don't think anything that goes on your head is a hoodie automatically, right? That's weird. Oh. Uh, uh, well, this is much worse. Like, weren't these the three cards in my opening hand and then it just switched lands with these? Yeah. Do you go to five? Yeah, let's let's go for it. Uh oh. Land on Oh, all right. Oh nailed it. That's the good one too. Never didn't have it. Turn two elf, turn three coalition relic, turn four thran dynamo into Avenger. Huh? Huh? Get two plants. <laughs> yes, but that's that's better than none. You understand? Do you think anyone has cast an Avenger as Zendikar and got zero plants? Um, in Magic's history... Okay, so specifically cast? I could see putting it into play being more likely, like okay, with the Eureka yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. But still, like, I think it's rare, but I bet it's happened. All right. There's been a lot of games Magic played. I think... <laughs> what are you going to do, Force Spike this? They really waited a little bit. No, he's kind of playing what Lightning Bolt to kill it with. Well, too late. You already missed the, you missed the boat on that one, buddy. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. If we just like draw land, we can just go turn four Consecrated Sphinx. That's a hell of a recovery for a turn five. I don't care about that. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're past that point. Yeah, you've you've missed the boat on that, buddy. Actually, what do we have? Five mana. I mean, we should probably just play like the Red Dynamo, right? I don't think we have a choice to do anything else. And we can play Opposition and tap this guy down, but I don't think we care about yeah, that. It's Whatever, we're going to take two damage next turn when he attacks us with it. No one cares. <laughs> Some people care. I mean, we're not at two yet. Actually, none of the cards in our hand ever ever hit with this. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana next turn. That's a lot. We could Avenger hit those two plants. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. All right, so here's here's the thing. Let me Tell me we, the thing. We, we Avenger hit two plants, but we also draw a land. Do we get three plants or do we just oh consecrated sphinx one time yeah. oh we get to choose yeah. oh that's 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 so much better you'll never hit my consecrated sphinx wow i don't care about either of those cards right now blue i will name the blue and i'll just play this and we'll go one two three four one two three four this one, yeah. I actually want to keep this up in case we draw, like, ultimate price, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yes! As soon as we go to the draw step, I'm like, yes! Okay, sure. I mean, it's all worth it now. Even if they kill this, we're in good shape. Yeah. I'm done. Sylvan Library and Jay Light Ranger next turn. It's over. You know, you don't have to pay mana to untap this. It just untaps automatically. Yeah, it's real good. If they attack with this, I'm like, no. Never blocking. <laughs> I don't need your Mizium Mortar nonsense, buddy. I don't think they have an answer for this guy. Probably not. I mean, they're playing an Eidolon of the Great Revel, so... Probably not. First, 
I'll play you. I'll take it. Ow! Um, don't Bye. care about you, and I'll draw the land. Still gonna play this. I'll take four. Ow! Ow. Yeah. I <laughs> Ow! No, mana burn's not real anymore. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we're just attacking here. Oh, two more cards. Put them in my hand. Concert Sphinx is pretty good with Sylvan Library, where you can just I'll just draw the extra cards that I don't want to see next turn. Oh wow, the old Talarian Academy, no artifacts. I like it. What is this deck? In I don't know. Eidolon Talarian Academy with like no other blue. <laughs> What's even happening right now? Ow! Don't care about that. Is this the same person? You think? No. I don't think that's the same person. See, you can tell they're not the same person because uh, Song of the Dryads wearing a hat. <laughs> and if two, if one person wears a hat, it can't be a person without a hat. Chat, how many people are wearing hats? Hunter's really, Hunter's really going to town back there. Ow. <laughs> no, Mana Burn's not real. Dang it. <laughs> it wasn't real last turn. What makes you think it'd be real now? I thought I changed my life. Alright, oh. we're just gonna go to the next turn, draw two more we've drawn six cards off this consecrated sphinx. Remember the time we mulled to five? What? What are you talking about? I don't remember that. You will. You will be. You can tell one of them aren't the same person because one of them is a tree. <laughs> That's a good point as well. I had not considered yeah. that. Also, what is the ultimate price in this art? Like like them dying? Yeah, I know, but like I don't know. They're paying it. Oh, God. Uh-oh, are we dead? Oh, we're very I dead. don't feel good about it. Even if it's like an Emrakul... Okay, if it's Emrakul, we're dead. Oh, God. What are they doing? Oh, God. Please don't be Emrakul. Oh, duplicate. Oh, that's really sad. We drew six cards off it, man. Oh, this also dies. Yeah, that's fine. That sucks, but it's what it is. I'm also Song of the Dryading that that duplicate just to be. Oh, we also have Sylvan Library. It dies. No, not the duplicate. I meant oh, the. Uh, I meant the sneak attack. Yeah. yeah. Block you. Block you. Let's get this. Let's get this guy off the board because all the cards in our hand are better than what he's doing with his life. Better than all, like Jace the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> Jace the Mind Sculptor. What if it was like when duplicate leaves the battlefield, you get your guy back? That'd be great. That's the world I want to live in. No, it doesn't. Doesn't tap for anything now. This guy's dead. It taps for it taps for nothing. Your your academy sucks. Um, I just want to keep the Pelucranos and then I would keep the Pelucranos and then put on top like, shuffle, shuffle the these idiots well. back. Yeah. Oh, did I get a freebie? <gasps> I did. I got a greenie. A little greenie. One, two, three. Peluca. One, two, sing a little song, get a little scrubby. Actually, we'll just get the troppy. One troppy. All right. Feeling good. Feeling good. Defenderix, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. What happens if our opponent was like, oh my god, thank you for playing Song of the Dryad. I've been waiting so I need long a forest. to cast this. <laughs> god, I've been holding Vraska this whole game. <laughs> I mean, he tapped for mana. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but... Now is a Talarian Academy produces a mana. They could also just snuck that into play, so... I guess that's better than... Yeah. Who knows? Who knows what's better anymore? Wow, I thought I just shuffled you away. We did. Alright. Are we in a place where we want to just draw two here? No, I guess we can put this... Actually, I kind of want the Elder and the, and the Pulse. Put the Elder, like... Put the forest back and then use Elder to... You ever hear the story about the Elder and the Pulse? Yeah. It was Yavimaya Elder blocked a Worm Coil Engine and then he died before the opponent could gain life. I'm tempted to just Maelstrom Pulse it. And then we can Pelucranos one of the tokens. Hmm. Does the Pulse kill both the tokens? No, because they... They are different tokens. 
Actually, are they different tokens? Did they have, did they have the same name? They have, their name is Worm. I don't know. Maybe. Do we want to just test that for science? How do we do that, though? Does this fight? Yeah. They are both named Worm. Can someone figure that out for us? Can, can one of the science mans do their <laughs> science? Do your science, science man. <laughs> it does kill both tokens. Wow. And, you know, that man's name is Shark Fist, so if, if I can't trust a man named Shark Fist... What, 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 what hope is I? there, really? Yeah. How much mana do we have? What do we need to actually kill here? We only need to pump it once, right? It does not work. Is it Cooley Up is t t contradicting Shark Fist? I don't... 100% Dave Dame. I love Dame Dame. He's I feel like it's smart it's man. cool. Yup really kind of needs to defend their answer because... the pulse, I, I'm going to go with Dave Dame because Dave Dame plays a lot of Magic Online. It works every time. 50, a lot of people are also saying it works, so I feel like the onus is on the person disagreeing. Especially because it it logically makes sense because the name of the card is Worm. Rogue Praetor got like a, an oh. actual thing here. Or, yeah, this is literally the exact question we need. Also... Since we're still in my previous session, I'll lose all my things. Um, you can get... Uh, where does it say? Yep. That's right. Even though the token has death touch in the other's life and there. Oh, boy. All right. We're saving that. Where are we? Did we... We're still adding mana. Good Lord. All right. So, we're definitely playing Elder here. Yeah. Pelucranos is going to die because it's fighting Worm Man, right? Correct. Right, if that, that's what we want to do. Yeah. I feel like it is, though. Worm man. So black, green, and then one, two. So he just fights for one, right? Is it for power or what Monstrous was? Because I... I... Uh, it deals X damage as you choose. Oh, it's not fighting. All right. That's worse. Cancel. Cancel. Um, so we would need to dump. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. Twelve million mana into it. Yeah, that's never happening. Literally thirteen mana. Yeah, we'll pass. And then we're gonna sing the song of Yavamaya Elder blocking Worm Coil Engine, his opponent not gaining any life. That is a good song. It's a very long. One, song two, three, game. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We actually have the mana to do that. That's actually pretty funny. I like that when I like when people definitively say things as if they know them for a fact, and then they just end up being wrong. <laughs> and you're just like, why would you say this as a fact if you're not correct? I don't understand. Fact. True fact. If you say fact after any statement, it becomes a fact, even if it was not a fact beforehand. Fact. I think you're thinking of FAQ. Okay. Fact. <laughs> Got him. I don't like that Chandra. You're going to kill this guy? Yeah, he wants to attack us for six. Is this up to? It's right as you choose among any number of target creatures your opponent's control. Uh, uh, deals X damage divided as you choose among any number. Any number could be zero. All right. Oh, yeah. And then we're casting that. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Everything's happening right now. So we're going to plus this guy, and then we're going to trade. Yeah. And then we're going to Ulamog the hell out of him. Yep. It's a good day. Today. I didn't have to use my AK. I will block. Block him. Block him, sock him, robots. One, two, three. Exactly done. Monstrous. Uh, choose. Um. I uh, I don't want to choose that. It deals damage, so we have to. We choose. We choose worm coil, right? I guess I. Oh, it's yeah. okay. I can. Um. What? Oh no. Among any number of target creatures. Your opponent controls, so... I don't want to do it. I just want to gain. Cancel? Select target, cancel? Is that, uh, that going to work? No, because then um, it, like, it forces you to put the ability on the stack. I don't... I'm scared. 
Well, we're print screening, so we can send a little thing, I guess. Because that's not how that's supposed to work, I don't think. Unless anyone can confirm. Okay, I don't want to deal one. Because it says any number. I think it because it's oh because it has to because it's one damage. I think it I think that's right. Yeah. Because it deals one damage. Like you have to assign the damage somewhere. Yeah. Kind of sucks, but <sighs> that's stupid. Oh well. Yeah, that makes sense actually. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's tricky. That's a really complicated rule. I don't yeah. like it. I'm still gonna Ulamog. Actually, this is destroy too. It's not even exile. Yeah. God, Ulamog, you're, you're hot garbage, dude. <laughs> What? He's not hot garbage. He's just regular garbage. Yeah, whatever. I have one on non basic. Got in my life. <laughs> <laughs> GTFO Magus of the butthole. Yeah, you tell him. I'm just mad about that stupid Polychronos interaction. Listen, man, we're gonna we're gonna cast Ulamog. We're gonna kill our opponent. Oh, we can actually acidic slime. And then uh You know. You know. Are, are you a dolphin? Or are you dolphining me right now? <laughs> what did they? I can't believe they Chandra the Yavimai Elder. That's aggressive, man. Yeah. I think we just Fraley's kill this. Uh, Maelstrom pulse the tokens. How much mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. Thirteen mana. So this is five, ten, and then we can just play Wall of Roots to block here. It was creature opponent controls. I really don't want to... Maybe we just Ulamog the Chandra. Yeah, like, I think that's that's the best. Alright. I mean, it's Ulamog, right? Like, that's just what we do. Yeah, like... God, people are still asking about the tokens. Yes, the tokens are the same. Hey, that, that person could be new. Yeah, but... They, they could just tune in. No, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're not like, Hey, I heard it before, the token... Oh, we overpaid too? I'm so bad at this game. It's okay. It's okay. He's, he's all right. I'm actually just going to kill this Magus now. Get out of here, Magus of the Moon. No one wants you to be around here. You are fired from my life. Huh? I just said Magus of the Moon is fired from my life. Huh? I just said, Magus of the Moon is fired from my life. Oh, did uh, did you fire Magus of the Moon from your life, Nick? Yes, I did. And we'll be right back with uh, Nick Talk back on KARN Radio. Oh, KARN, mm -hmm. I get that. <laughs> That's funny. I get that reference. That's funny because he played a Karn and that's what you said. And you said the words that spell his name. Hey. Yeah. His Tolarian Academy is slightly better now. It still sucks balls, just so you know. I'm going to acidic slime it next turn, I think. His hat is Hat Mike. His name is Hat Mike. Jeez. His hat is Hat Mike. Oh. I'm Nick. This is Hat Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Names are hard, man. And we're like block. Snap blog. Uh, let me tell you a little story about Indestructible, my friend. So this is a story all about how my Karn got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute to sit right there. I'm going to turn this dude sideways and annihilate all your perms. Oh my god, we made his Tolarian Academy a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I'll use Sylvan Libraries. Oh my god, it just keeps getting better and better. Man, Sylvan Library was our first pick, and it's probably the best card in the entire deck. Uh, Let's add a black. Oh, we didn't actually do a thing. That's fine. Yeah. Pulse Goodbye, wormies. I'm just going to attack here and see what happens. If we attack Karn, they're actually just going to... Sacrifice it. Yeah. But I think we still have to get it off the board. Yeah. Or do we? One, two, three, four... I don't think we do, actually. Yeah, whatever. Like, I don't care. <laughs> if you sack four other permanents, like, you literally have three lands and a construct. And I I'm going to kill your construct. I'm going to be real with you right now. One, two, three. Okay. All right. And now we 
Now we play. He's in red black. What's he doing to deal with his Ulamog? Why isn't he conceding? I don't know. People like people like pretending they have hope. I mean, he is six minutes ahead of us, so that ain't gonna do it. Yeah, this is not a slow deck. Alrighty then. They figured it out. Nailed it. Do we care? What do we care about? Thrun. Thrun actually seems pretty good. Yeah, he can't target it. Do they have many things to target it? I don't, I don't even remember what our opponent's deck was. They have the Karn. They had a bunch of constructs. They had they, Talarian Academy. They had uh, they had Warm Coil. Warm Coil. They had Eidolon of the Great Rebel. I don't hate. Re- Re- oh, he had Sneak Attack. He did have Sneak Attack. Yeah, that's Thank true. You, chat. But it doesn't actually do anything against like we can't. We don't have a sideboard card for yeah. it. I mean, we already have Freely's Acidic Slime, Maelstrom Pulse, and Vraska to deal with that. So uh, three, opposition's also pretty good. Yeah, let's just put in Progenitus. I'm going to veto that one. How many vetoes do you get? Enough. All right. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, let's put in the Iona. Iona? Yeah. The Shield of Amiria. You might have heard of it. Um, you name a color and your opponent can't cast spells of that color. It's also like a 7-7 flyer. And that was the last time we ever saw <laughs> Hat Mike on stream. <laughs> Careful of the red black cards that do things against our deck. That's a solid strategy. I appreciate that kind of that kind of advice. My nose is itching, and I'm not really. I can scratch it for you. Okay. No, not the not the top. It's like the inner, like right oh, here. I'm not touching that. That's <laughs> gross. What are you, some kind of weirdo? I don't think we're, I don't think we're boarding anything in here. Yeah, I think the deck's perfect. Wow, that is that is something, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll keep this hand with all these five drops. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not comfortable with it. I'm absorbing the the cards. No, you're not. You're right, they're digital. I can't absorb digital. You either. can't absorb anything, because you suck. That's why. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. You okay, man? I was gonna drink the whole thing. I was gonna but then say like you should me. use a coaster, but I don't think there's a coaster big enough. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Put on your wallet. Actually, go in, you want to run to the right on the on the calyx over there. There should be a little towel. Actually, that 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 could work. One coaster is all you need. One cost coaster to rule them all, and in the darkness. Wizards of the coaster. Oh, oh, that's that's not good yet. But next turn. Hello. Hello. I like a turn three Thren Dynamo into a turn. Hey, do you, for multiple planeswalkers. Do you think our opponent's going to play Eidolon out of the Great Rebel again? Nope, never mind. That was a really weird... Oh, that's... Uh-oh, I don't like that. I don't think I care about that as much as I should. They don't have anything in the graveyard, and we have multiple turns to kill it, so... I think we'll be alright. I have a good feeling. I've got a good feeling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana next turn, so we can just go double planeswalker. That seems good. Or Planeswalker Acidic Slime. <laughs> like, they're basically dead. They can't win here. I just want you... Oh, well, where's this Planes coming from? How many colors is our opponent playing? Apparently four. No, five. We gave him a forest last game. He's not playing that, though. I don't know. He used it for me. Uh-oh, sneak attack. Oh, he's not using it. Whatever. <laughs> this game's over. So, land. One, two, three, four, five. So, we can only do one. No. We can go Nissa for five. Oh, that's right. Untap two. Untaps. I'm, s- yeah. I'm dumb. Don't worry about that. I wasn't. I was not worried about it. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Fraley's here. Yeah, and just get her a sneak attack or something. Yeah, I'd rather play two Planeswalkers. <laughs> yep, looking pretty good. Real Mike only spits out water in Frozen <laughs> form. You got a lot to learn, Hat Mike. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm new here. Oh, they didn't do anything. All right. Well, that's fascinating. They were going to do something, but we killed their sneak attack. Make a dude. Did you see that bug just float by? Yeah, I did. Did you really? Yeah. Little bug bug. Goodbye, reoccurring nightmare. Recurring. There's no O in there. Reoccurring nightmare. Why are you the way that you are? I don't know. I ask myself that every day. Do 
Did we play enough things? Is this good? Planes. Concede. We misboarded. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Hope you don't have, like, living death. No, you just have that guy. I don't really care about that guy. I have literally, literal frailies on board. Nice 5-5. Five five. I also have Shriek Mom, but that doesn't do it. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah All right. Well. It says it right on the card. What do you do? Search your library for any number of basic land cards. Okay, so they just... They all become 4-4s. Four That's pretty gross. I mean, we could just make a 4-4 four four and, you know, attack them. I mean, that's probably what we're doing. Yeah. Meh, yeah, see? Meh. Yeah. Oh, and it's any land? Yeah, sure. Make that do a 4-4. Four four. Basic land creature swamp. We're also just going to play a swamp because I don't really feel like getting Rakdos returned. I've got a feeling that this game's gonna end the next turn. Yeah, that's fine. What does that guy do? Kill a thing and then kills gain land. Life. They gain four. Big deal. They killed my swamp. Uh oh. Breeze is blue. Make a dude. Next turn we'll kill this guy too. Hissing Quagums. Hissing Quagmire. Giggity. So real Mike is the solid water one. Hat Mike <laughs> is the liquid water one. I guess that makes Swole Mike the gassy one. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's incredible. Uh-oh. He's going to start stealing stuff. Not, not They only have one red. He ain't stealing anything. He ain't stealing anything. Actually, can't we just make a million dudes? They have one card in hand. I really feel like if we just... Ultimate search, this, we win. Search for your, for any number of basic lands. Put them out of the battlefield. Those lands become 4-4s four with Trample. Who's he attacking with this guy? He... Yeah, no, neither is going to die. We're just going to double block here. They can kill one thing. Is it basic? Yeah, okay. Well, at least that's something. Oh, you kill the acidic slime over the swamp. Over the... Interesting. Do we have Ulamog mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we have way more than Ulamog mana. So here's an Ulamog. It's actually pretty good. That's actually very good. Holy smokerinos. Although, can they during their upkeep, they have 1, 2, and then they, they can almost shoot and steal. Yeah. But they can't. Do we just make a million dudes? I want to say just make a million dudes. like. And we can play opposition as well. Oh yeah, because oh wait no no yeah, we because, can't because they're they're gonna be sick boys yeah they're gonna <laughs> they're <laughs> oh all right let's do it can I just is there an all button no we gotta we gotta pick them I mean out. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hope you don't have a way to pick them out wow. I'm going to hope you don't have a way to, uh... To kill all of this. Correct. Pretty sure they don't. They're, our opponent's deck, not really good. Our deck, pretty good. Alright, well, five you. I mean, if they have living death, it's pretty rough. <laughs> don't have living death. Oh yeah, that's true. That they have card. two cards in hand, though. Oh, got him! Dang, they couldn't even let us swing with all our land boys. All our sick land boys. It's okay, they, they got better. It's okay, we won that game. Okay. In spectacular fashion. Did we go 2 1 with the last deck? Or did we. Yeah, because we, they went Blight Steel into. Yeah, they, they comboed out with. It was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> two, turn, two games in a row on turn three or four or whatever. I'm stealing my phone back. You're, you're still probably real low on juice, man. Yeah, I'm. Whoa. I have, I have a million messages. They're all from me. They're not. None of them are from you. Why would you lie to me like They're that? They're all from me. Did you hear what I said? No. no. Nicholas, listen. I'm, I'm listening. It's time for round three. Did you tell your mom you're going to be late? Did you say, hey, mom, listen. I'm streaming with my BFF. I, n no. Well, that's messed up. Hat mom's going to be real mad. Hat mom it will be just fine. 
Mahatmam Gandhi. I'm gonna keep this hand. I didn't even I didn't even ask your opinion. You know why? Because I would say yes. This is a good hand. Jarman, thank you so much, man. Been a minute since I've caught you live. Hope you're doing well. I am. Hope you're doing well, buddy. It's it's okay. We're gonna top deck an elf too, so it just gets even better. Tonight's gonna be a good night. You know that song? Uh. Tonight, tonight. Applesauce. Doesn't that was that the next? Isn't that the next line? I don't know what song you're singing anymore. You will. What's up, Axel? Well, depending on where you are, that's totally fine. Well, no, maybe not. It's 2 p.m. in most places at the very earliest. Wow, we did it. Oh, hi, Elf. Oh, hi, Elf. Oh, hi, boss. <laughs> <laughs> you just got that readily available. Yeah, man. Got them memes, boy. When our opponent went sneak attack, blightsteel, uh, and Emrakul, I should have done this. So that's good times. I guess we're cracking this for a tropical island. And they're going to stifle it. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Well, it's too bad they didn't do it. Nice. Too bad. I hope you daze me. He ain't doing that. I hope you think I can't pay for it. I can. Spoiler alert. I can pay. Coalition Relic isn't just a mana rock that is delayed for a turn. Yeah, there's no audio because I have my desktop audio disabled. I always forget to unmute that, which is really annoying. So it would actually say this. Sorry, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. And that's what I would. That's what. That's what would have happened. DCM Dame, thanks so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Dave Dame. That's the name. Dave Dame. Okay, you don't have to yell. I'm right here. Uh, you know what the CM stands for? No, I don't. Crab mandible. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Crowmaster. I don't now. I don't know what's real. Carl Matthews doesn't stand for any of those. I need you to stop playing with my emotions. Oh, I'm sorry. Quit playing games with my heart. Oh, that sub was for me. Thanks, buddy. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> that's messed up. Hey, do you think he's gonna attack with that guy? The same draft? I God, I hope so. I'll block it. Spoiler alert. How many guys St. Traps do you think have been blocked in the history of Magic the Gathering? Jesus, a lot. Thousands. How many do you think have killed their opponent? Th also thousands. <laughs> <laughs> the card is... I feel like Geist of St. Traft is always in that weird area where it's very, very doing? good. <laughs> All right, well... This is a cool char. That's a good trade. And they yeah. only have two mana. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could, uh, we could turn our Arbor Elf into a forest and have the same amount of mana. Blade Splicer. Crucible of Worlds. That's very strange. You want do you want Song of the Dryads as Crucible of the Worlds? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> feels bad, man. Our yeah. hand feels bad, man. No, nah, we who cares about our hand? Our board is amazing. Is it though? We can attack for two. It's fine. Can we though? Yeah. It's really ironic that they get crucible to one game we've acidic slimed an island, but Basically, it kills your opponent or does nothing. True I mean, once, once I see the strip mine, we're Song of the Dryads and that dude for real. And here it is. <laughs> oh, they didn't do it. Did not activate it. Interesting. Played a, played a dumb Gideon instead. Can I draw Fraley's here? That would be such gas, dude. So, can we kill that and attack you? No. That's unfortunate. I mean, this leaves us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana, so we can go Shriek Maw and Song of the Dryads, which is actually pretty good. That guy's also pretty good. Wow, Strip Mine Crucible, huh? So, I mean, we have to get rid of Crucible right now, right? Like. Yes, because otherwise they get rid of two lands next turn, which is. I mean, it's got to be. It's either Song and Garrick or Song and Shriek Maw. Um, a 
so I like are we tapping down all our dudes for we have four mana five six yeah. we have a total of eight so yes we would actually have to tap down everything right and for Garrick we're just getting a beast and Garrick is Garrick will live because we're gonna block the Gideon right I'm tempted to actually now we got a song on this we have the song on the crucible yeah I want to get rid of this guy. This guy's saying st song strip mine, but like. I like Shriek Maw because this kills this, and then next turn we can actually attack Gideon for four. Right. Because we have. Also, they can just activate Gideon, and we're going to be tapped out. So if we yeah, play Garrick, Garrick's they're just going to kill it. Yeah. Like, Song and Garrick. Garrick seems terrible here. I don't know why you guys are suggesting Garrick unless you just like Garrick and you're not actually thinking through that play. Like, so, I mean, Garrick is going to make a beast, which is going, like, which can block Gideon. Sure. But, um... But then you're just literally throwing a beast away, and... Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd rather I, get I, the scout board. Yeah. Because this is a four-power fear guy, and, like, they just don't have a dude to... <laughs> Song on Garrick. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. If we put it on here, they have one, two, three, four, five lands and a crucible for future things. If we put on the crucible, they have one, two, three. They, they have to keep strip mine. But like, they're like they're draining their own resources. Yeah, I agree if with they're that. strip mining us. Plus, I'd rather them have one blue, one strip mine, two planes than two blue, two yeah. planes and a strip and a forest. All right. Well, fingers crossed. My name is Nick. No, your name is Frank. My name is Jeff. N no, again, your your name is Frank. I hope they strip mine their own floor. You and me both. You and me both. Uh oh, they're gonna cast Bant Charm. Fudge. What Bant Charm? Who's cast Bant Charm? My dad. I'm okay, Dad. Wow, Wrath of God. That's cool. Do you not activate Gideon here? You don't plus Gideon? Like, attack for five? Well, he's past that point. Wrath of God is pretty insane. Yep, pretty sure we're dead now. Good times. Alright, well, we're going to Center's Deliverance main. Or sideboard. Um, I like Thrun because he can regenerate. Probably better than Pelucranos. Shriek Maw seems pretty irrelevant. Kitchen Fink survives a Wrath of God. Jade Light Ranger can come out. We have a ton of Planeswalkers that could survive there. Well, the shirt is simple. The shirt is simple? The shirt is simple. Oh, yeah. The shirt is actually simple. Yeah, it's very simple. I it's like, a simple shirt. I like snakes. I'm a simple shirt man. I see a shirt. I wear it. And you already know that. That's back. Game Crank, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Can I, I think it's cool. What I don't, there's no reference. It's a shirt that says I like snakes and it's got a slice of pizza on it. Yeah, I like snakes. That's Becca. She already knows. Oh. I get it. Yeah. You guys are having a little bit of a meme there. Yeah. I see. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a good funny. Yes, I'm very simple. Nick is so simple. He's a simple man. He's, he sees a snake. Becca, how's your water intake? Sounded like you said watering tank. How's your water intake? Well, I know what you did say. I'm just saying what it sounds... Well, I'm just telling you what it sounds like you said. Okay. Why are you being like this? I'm not being like anything. We had a friendship up we, until you hey, acted we, like a little, listen, little Mitch. Listen, we're still friends. Doubt it. I'm sad now. Good. Good. Excellent. Why do you guys keep saying snakes? It says love. It says love snakes. That's a whole other love. <laughs> like sna Oh my god! I don't know what's going on right now. Sometimes the chat is real hard to keep up with. Yeah. 
We get Scrubland? No, because we want triple blue for this guy. Even though we're going to draw a black card right now. It's going to be really awkward, Maelstrom Pulse. Hey, that's hey, kind of like a black card. Nope, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> this one. This guy! We'll get there at some point. Alright, now I'm feeling better about our... Yeah, our can't, can't wrap this board. What? Are they? Do they have green cards in their deck? That's... What is this Lumbering Falls doing, man? Oh, I don't like... Oh, man, that's rough because Garrick actually... Just... Both of these go to four and the Angel just kills them. That's stupid. I'm not a fan. So surprisingly good. I mean, hmm. yeah, I mean that as well. We can just have Nissa make a four four. We can trade them. We're trading a Nissa for a Geist of Saint Draft. Yeah, like maybe the Beast or the four four will incentivize him to not attack. Never. But, like I, <laughs> I mean, they threw they threw their Geist of Saint Draft into our acidic slime, acidic slime last yeah. time, and that didn't even get any Planeswalker value out of it. Yeah, so. We could just wait, but I don't see what we're waiting for. I mean, I think Nissa I, is. I worse. think we're fine to take one hit. Let's just play Sylvan Library and see like what the future holds. What the future holds? What does the future hold with my Sylvan Library? Oh, that's Hat Mike. He loves snakes. <laughs> you can Garrick Negative to three zero zero. That's actually a solid strategy. We'll have to employ that one in the next game. Next turn. The next turn game. Is this round two or round three? How far into this we're, are we? We're at round three, man. Wow, we're 2 0? Yeah, we're 2 0 and we're a game up on this guy, right? No, we're game No, down. we got Wrath yeah, into wrapped Oblivion. Yeah, he That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 mana. That's a lot. If someone was like, how much mana do you think is a lot? I'd be like, 8. 8 is a lot. Wrath of God? Dang. I was hoping they would Wrath there. Yeah, me too. I had my fingers crossed for it. All right, here we go. Three off the top. I like Elder here. And Ultimate Price ain't terrible. Kills the angel. Kills me an angel right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have eight mana. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. Either way, so we can actually go Garrick, keep up. Yeah, it's probably Garrick here, right? Yeah, Garrick, make a beast, keep up ultimate price. Kill One, the two, angel. three, four. The problem is that we have to use Thran Dynamo. Ah, that's annoying. Oh, so we. Can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because. And they have five cards in hand. So if they activate Gideon, like, it's just a bad. That's just a bad deal. Yeah. We're going to just have to play Nissa here, make a 4 4. Yeah, ain't the worst. Ain't the best, but it ain't the worst. I think we can actually pay for it. We can actually... I want to hit a land drop here, so... One, two, three, four... Five... Nissa. Uh, target land becomes a four, four. Say you. Yeah, that's not bad. Now we have multiple blocks and ultimate price, so... I mean, I'll chump block with Noble Hierarch if I have to. There's an 8% chance his name is actually Mike. That's a good one. That's a good 8% meme there. What happens if my t my name was Mike all this time? I think that'd be real weird that you changed it to something else. Yeah. It would be very Why weird. would you go by Nick then, I wonder? Eh, you know, short for Mike. It's, it's... Yeah, I didn't think about that. Actually, that's a good point. <laughs> You're so smart. I'm not that smart. Really? Is that true? What, that I'm not that smart? Yes. Yeah, dude, I've I'm not that smart. I've I've been just very lucky. Nick, please come home. I've booked you seven, seven flights over seven the last, last six, six years. years. You missed them all. It's a nightmare here without you. You're not sure how much longer the snakes will survive. This is all very interesting. That's my boss. Is it really? Yeah. That's funny. I thought you said you were your boss. I'm I'm my own boss. And he's also my boss. Everyone's the boss. Who's the boss? I'm the boss. All right, well, they're not attacking with Gideon. He just wants to make more guys. More snacks? No, they're night allies. Oh, are they going to go straight at... They're going to go straight to straight for your mouth. <laughs> the sn are we talking about the snakes? <laughs> yeah. They're going to go straight for your mouth, you... 
<laughs> all right well that's that's weird i'll be honest hope you don't have a mana drain here they didn't nice this is actually a pretty reasonable turn like if you want to wrath of god here knock yourself out island blocks geist of saint draft that's a sentence <laughs> island does block saint Guys, oh, this ain't trash. Chris Buller rolls with no lands in the graveyard. And he's no strip mine. He's got strip mine in his hand. I think they would have played it that turn, actually. Oh, Kitchen Fink seems real good. It's your boy, Kitchen Fink Ghosts. I don't think we're going to go to five, though. I want to put this on top. Yeah. Actually, what are we playing this turn? One, two, three. And then actually, we can play Kitchen Finks and Garrick. Yeah, let's do that. And then draw four cards. I was just going to make a beast. That works, too. I like this because it's a white for Kitchen Finks. Oh, we can also just put... We can also just untap things, too. Yeah, we don't have to... We have a whole other Planeswalker to worry uh, about. White. White. I could just also make this a 4-4 a four, four again. Well, it's still 4-4. Four, four. I can do it again. Is it until, like, your next turn? Or? It's until I want it to be. Oh, okay. So... Alright. Oh, if they still take two, actually. Trample is a hell of a drug. We could have probably killed Gideon there, but... I don't actually want to make more lands into things, because if they have a... A sweet... Oh, also, we could have actually attacked with the Exalt trigger, and then gained... Draw, draw, some, draw some five cards. Yeah. I think we're doing that next turn. That's good. I know it. There's one thing I know about magic... It's that drawing cards. Just don't play Consecrated Sphinx, that's all. Is good. This is a Consecrated Sphinx. That's six mana, that's Consecrated Sphinx. Frank, why'd you do this? Why'd you do this, Frank? Frank. Why'd you do this? <sighs> We're not going to draw any cards today, are we? We're going to draw one. And that's going to be the extent of it. Maelstrom Pulse in the top three, or a Vraska, or a Song, I guess. I don't understand how this happens every single time. Wait, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. We're going to... We're not doing that, right? We're not activating that ability. We don't. Not activating that ability. What? What? Because it's going to get to a point where, like, it doesn't matter how many cards they have in. They already have five. Giving them two more just means they're still going to have to discard. Sphinx is also a May ability, so he's just going to get enough cards to beat us. <laughs> yes, most likely. But I'm also tempted to just draw five this turn. Yeah. I'm thinking about that, too. I was like, if we're already giving him, like, six... Right. It's like, might as well. I mean, we're not going to win the game by, like... Go ahead. Go to nine. I dare you. Yep. All right, so... My, my The problem is that if we attack with this guy, then they're probably just going to block with this and this, so it doesn't yeah. survive. So we just, we're only going to draw four. Still good. You have my elder three randos. Three rando Calrissians. Eh, well, none of those are good. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, 11's, 11's where they stop. They're like, I'm good. God. God. 11 is enough cards to win the game. <laughs> oh, I want to vomit. Oh, man, we could play it. You have my elder and then... Draw another one? Oh, he went up to 13. He was like, oops, wow. I, I misclicked. My bad. Uh, what's the interaction between Nisa and Death Touch Man Land? It gets trampled on Death Touch. Master Pulse. <laughs> well, that's a dude, I guess. Gonna go up to 15? No. They're like, I'm good. I'm good here. And we're gonna we're gonna 
my blade run. Um, I'm going to tap four forests here. One, two, three. And then can we make Anissa too? No. Or a Fraley's rather. Nope, we're not doing that. Um... All right, I guess we're good here. So I guess it's your turn now. And we're dead on board. Well, not on board, but like we're dead. Uh, we're dead to. In two turns. Yeah. To this idiot. It's okay. They only have 13 cards left. That's eh, fine. I feel like Conscript Swings might even be better. Uh, more balanced if it was not a May ability. Yeah. And like, then we, like we could actually almost try to deck them. Yeah. Because. Wow. Straight to the dome. Got it. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> That'll do. All right. Do you think that's why he stopped drawing cards? I don't care what he. I don't care what he did. Okay. Either way, thank you so much for uh, watching. Really appreciate it, Scott Leonard. Thank you so much for the stip. It actually went pretty well, I would say. Uh, hopefully, we didn't violate the rules too much. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to submit your own stipulations or deck critiques or what have you, you can check out the, my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. Both of the links are in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, me and Hat Michael, see you later. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for watching.